Hello guys, welcome back to another dating tip episode. So today I want to share how to find out if your date is a player. A couple weeks ago, a follower messaged me saying that she was confused about her dating situation. She said her date told her that he was not sure if he could give her what she wanted. But at the same time, he still kept asking her to hang out together. She said this guy changed his attitude after they had sex. Before they had sex, he was very active and he replied to her text pretty fast. But after they had sex, he started replying very slow. She wanted to figure out their relationship before they went out again. But he kept being very vague every time she tried to clarify how he felt about her. That's why she turned to me for help. So if you were the girl, what would you do? Would you continue to go out with this guy without knowing how you really feel about each other? Or would you step away from him? I told her if she was my sister, I would tell her to leave this guy right away. I was upset that she had to experience this because I used to be in the same situation when I was dating. If this story sounds familiar to you, or maybe you just started online dating and you would like to learn how to identify a player, here is my list to help you find out if he's a player or maybe he's just not interested enough or he's not ready for a committed relationship. So if you're ready for my top 8 tips, then just keep on watching. Scenario number one. I'm not sure if I can give you what you want. So what do you think about us? Uh, well, you know, I, uh, I really like you. You're super cool. I like all the time we spend together. We have a lot of fun. But uh, you know, like what you said you want. I'm not sure if I'm the kind of guy that can give you what you're looking for right now. But like I said, I have a lot of fun with you. If you still want to keep hanging out, I'm down to keep hanging out. Remember we talked about specifying what you're looking for early on when you started chatting with someone? Not just about you, but also figuring out what your date is looking for is equally important if you don't want to waste your time. But sometimes people may lie to you, or they may not truly be sure about what they want themselves. You have to ask yourself either way. Do I know what I want? Do I want to spend time or waste time waiting for this person to figure it out? Sometimes people come around and realize they want to commit to you and sometimes people can drag you on for years. So depending on your own timeline, stop and ask yourself and ask your date. Am I or are we wasting time or is this going somewhere? If your date tells you, ah, I'm not sure if I can give you what you want. He's actually saying, sorry girl, I, I don't think I'm ready to commit. He either cannot give you an exclusive relationship or the same level of affection. He tries to be nice and indirect so he can feel better and make you feel less hurt. So now you know what that means. Next time when you hear something similar to that, you know what's going on. Scenario number two, no one is too busy to send a text or make a phone call. I texted you the other day and you didn't reply. Is everything okay? Hey, you know, sorry. It's just that uh, I've been super crazy busy at work, you know, like every day has been super, super crazy and we've had back-to-back -back meetings and you know, it's just been really tiring. I just, you know, I, I knocked out the other night because it's just been so much work. Does this sound familiar to you? Has your day been telling you he's too busy to reply to your texts or he's too busy to meet next week? I understand that we all have busy days in our life or at work. But the thing is, what do you do after you finish what kept you occupied? Do you take a few seconds to update someone whom you care about? No one is too busy to spend 5 to 10 seconds to send a text or make a quick phone call if he or she really wants to. It's not about if he has time or not. It's about if he cares and if he wants to spend time with you. If he really cares about you, he will not want to make you wait or make you wonder. He will make sure to update you how he feels. Got it? So, ask yourself and your date, is dating and relationship really a priority for you? If so, you have to care and put in the time. If it's about having fun when it's convenient, then you both better be on the same page about that. Scenario number three, he wants to take you home on the first date or he likes to hang out at his place or your place instead of going out. Yeah, nice meeting you too. I had a lot of fun. So should we call it a night or you still wanna hang out? I know a good place down the block that's uh, pretty fun. It's a fun bar. And I actually live around the corner too. It's pretty close. So if you wanna come over maybe like 30 minutes, you can meet my dog. You can meet my dog, Lulu. Have a little fun with the dog and 
I also have that bottle of wine that you were talking about. Maybe we can grab a bottle of wine, just talk for a little bit, and maybe you can go home after. Have you met someone who suggests hang out his place at the end of the first date instead of a public place? Or does your date prefer to hang out at his place or your place most of the time? To me, going to a guy's place right after the first date is a little bit too soon and it is too aggressive for me. If you ask me when is a good time to go to your date's place, well, it really depends. It depends on how you feel about him and what type of person he is. But I can tell you that it's too soon to happen on the first date. It's just not normal and proper in my opinion. Even if you're just looking for a hookup, it might be unsafe if you really don't know about this person. After you date this person for a while and you realize he always invites you to hang out at his place or your place instead of going out, then this might be a sign that he is just trying to hook up or this could be a sign that he's just not an active kind of person. If he really just prefers to hang out at home, then are you happy with this type of personality? I know some people are more introverted and prefer to stay indoors, but having a balance is really important. You guys can do some indoor activities like museums or movies, right? If you enjoy this type of stay at home dating as well, then that's a different story. If you are like me who would like to have some adventure with your date, then this type of scenario might be a red flag that he's either hiding something from you, he's not that serious with you, or he doesn't prioritize getting out and seeing the world. But again, there's always exception and I know not everyone is like that and you should be smart enough to tell the difference. Scenario number four, beware of his words. Are they sugar-coated? Oh, just finished another trade show for my company. It's been a long day and I'm so exhausted. Oh no, I, I hope you're okay. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, I miss you already. Can't wait till uh, we hang out again. Yeah, you know, hold you close. You can come over, we can grab a glass of wine, just chill. Yeah, you can relax at my place. I'm not gonna lie, this is exactly what someone I dated before said to me. And he turned out to be a huge player. I remember that I used to feel butterflies when he said those things to me. And just because I was so new to dating, I was innocent to believe everything that people said to me. Don't get me wrong, I understand some people are just affectionate and they want to express their love. But be smart enough to observe your date's words and his actions and listen to your instinct. If you feel your date is overly sweet, overly romantic, and he overly praises you, or his sweet talk doesn't really match his action, then you should be careful. If what he says to you sounds too good to be true, or he always says things that make you feel shy or makes you feel so in love. But more often it leads to sex or to what he wants over what you want then you might want to reconsider that. It might be hard to identify when you are a beginner, but just keep in mind that you can always talk to your friend who has more experience than you, or you can share it in our dating group. Maybe you'll get more ideas from a different perspective. Remember, don't be fooled by sugar-coated words. Scenario number five, he is too unreliable. He cancels on dates or asks you out last minute. If you've been using dating apps for a while, you'll notice that a lot of people on dating apps tend to ghost people when chatting, meaning they just disappear one day and never come back again. When this happens to you, please don't take it to heart. You didn't do anything wrong. Unfortunately, this is just another common thing in this online dating culture. On top of ghosting, if your date is unreliable, canceling your dates last minute, or if he asks you out last minute often, these signs, in my opinion, are players' moves. I remember I encountered a couple of people like that when I just started dating online. And in the first place, I didn't know why those guys would cancel my dates last minute until one time my guy friend, he told me that usually it's because someone whom they rank higher happened to be free that day. So they dropped me and choose that girl instead. And I'm like, okay. And surprisingly, those guys will come back to me later and ask me out again, which I didn't know why. Obviously, you don't wanna waste time on people who play with your time. So, no thanks, got no time for players. Scenario number six, the hot and cold attitude after sex, inconsistency. 
just like the followers story in the beginning of this video i personally had the same experience when i was dating too unfortunately when i was dating i didn't know how to talk about this because it's a sensitive topic for me so i never shared this story with anyone before until that day this girl came to me asking for advice and i couldn't believe that she got hurt by the same type of person that's why this anger really pushed me to share our stories and hopefully we can help more people out there who may encounter a player like this if you realize your day changes his attitude after having sex i'm sorry girl i have to tell you that he is not good for you this guy i dated before he used to text me so many times in a day and he would reply to my text so quickly but everything changed after we had sex he went from super caring and loving to only one text a day and sometimes he didn't even reply until day two our relationship changed just like a switch in one day and i was too shocked to understand what was going on but very quickly i regained myself and stopped dating him right after in this follower situation her day became less active and less responsive after they had sex but he still wanted to hang out with her she was smart enough to decline him when he said he prefers to talk in person instead of texting she knew that he was not serious about her and was just enjoying a casual relationship so she put a stop and then moved on so next time when you meet someone who changes his attitude after having sex or being inconsistent remember to stay away from this person if you want to save some tears and some time scenario number seven he doesn't remember things about you sometimes when a guy is dating multiple girls at a time it's hard for him to remember the details or stories stories about each one of them that's why this could be a red flag for you to identify but this might not apply to all the guys on dating apps because some people are just not so good at paying attention i dated this one guy and he didn't remember what i told him on the first date but i did so on our second day i follow up on a upcoming camping trip that he told me about last time and he was shocked that i still remember what he said last time throughout our second day he was aware that he didn't pay enough attention to me on the first day so at the end of the day he confessed and apologized to me saying that he felt bad that he wasn't paying attention last time and he felt bad that he had nothing to say in return when i follow up on his camping trip so in this case he wasn't a player he was just still learning about dating girls but a lot of times a player is not able to remember basic things about you like where you live where you work or some special story about you because he has too many in his hand and this is how you can sense it at a early stage scenario number eight always unavailable in the evenings do you know a player could be a married guy too this is a story shared by a dating coach in United Kingdom, Eva. She also has her own books talking about dating for single people. So feel free to check out her channel if you're interested. So Eva dated this guy who's married without knowing. He was always available and active during the day, but was not available in the evening. And that's how she found out later. He would text her and pay attention to her during the day, but would not reply to a text or pick up a phone call in the evening. Her story told me that if you notice a weird pattern about your day, for example, if he is always going away on a business trip, or he doesn't answer your call, or he doesn't really reply to you in the evening or during a certain time, for example, then maybe he's hiding something from you or there's something about him that you don't know yet. So stay alert and pay attention when he has suspicious activities or behaviors. Thanks, Eva, for sharing your tips and story with us. Okay, so these are my eight tips to find out if your date is a player. If I miss anything important, please leave me in the comment. If you have encountered any of these situations i would love to hear your stories too if you would like to join our dating group on facebook feel free to click the link under this video to join again thank you guys for watching if you find it helpful please give it a like or consider subscribing to my channel so i can create more content for you guys see you guys in my next one bye